Hey guys, Corey with Palmetto Battery Pros. Today I'm going to show you how to properly bypass the OBC in this 2008 Club Car Precedent. And the reason why we're bypassing it is we're gonna do a lithium conversion on this cart. This is a older 1510 Curtis controller. And I highly recommend bypassing the OBC before you install the lithium battery. So first thing I've done is I've removed the plastic cover, set it off to the side. I took a picture of the controller and I went ahead and took it apart and disconnect it because I'm gonna be rerouting these cables and moving this whole section over. But uh, to bypass the OBC, we are going to be removing, this is the OBC right here, and this is, we're gonna be removing this whole uh, black piece here. And I went ahead and crimped, I'm gonna crimp a new eyelet on my main negative cable here, but, uh, so, I, and I need to remove it so I can go ahead and push this through and go ahead and get it out of the way and now I'll just put a new eyelet on that for the lithium battery since we're doing the lithium conversion we will be replacing the receptacle so um, coming from the charge receptacle you have your positive that went to your positive battery uh, bank you have the gray runs to the OBC and the black connects right here so go ahead and disconnect this guy I usually cut this guy in the middle and you can disregard the red and uh, pull your charge receptacle if that's what you're doing. Now, if you are removing and replacing your charge port, you can do that from the front side. But to finish the OBC bypass, we need to connect the blue and white wires together. We need to jump them together. And I'll show you the best way to do that right here. So grab this wiring harness that goes to the OBC and we're gonna cut it back. We're gonna leave a little bit of room uh, so we can reuse that OBC if someone needs, needs it. Um, but I'm also going to take this blue and this white that are going into the OBC and I'm going to jump them here. So the best way to do that is to just leave enough room to be able to jump them together. We'll go ahead and snip all of these individually. So now Instead of cutting this side of the harness that goes to the cart, I'm gonna take this connector off and make sure that the pins are all still good. But then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cap all these. I'm gonna insulate and cap everything off except for the blue and the white. And I'm going to jump them. I'm gonna cross them and, and uh, butt connect these two together and then plug it back in and then our OBC will be bypassed and I'll be able to remove the physical OBC from the, from the panel. All right, so I went ahead and connected the blue and the white, capped and insulated uh, the rest of them. Now I'm gonna plug it back in. And this is uh, gonna successfully jump these wires that are running back to my controller. So now I'm able to remove the two or three ten there's three ten millimeters on this other side and I'll be able to pull the OBC out and disregard it oh I'm sorry there is uh, one more ground that runs from the OBC so you have one come one negative coming in and you have one that's going out to the controller wire you can cut this here and insulate and cap
All right, we have successfully bypassed the OBC. Now we're ready to uh, finish installing the lithium cart. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below or suggestions. We're always looking for better ways to do things. And we look forward to seeing you next time. We have some more videos coming out on OBC and read switch bypasses and charger receptacle replacements for lithium installation. So please uh, subscribe to the channel and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.